justice play a key role in stabilizing a country. A country with justice is a country that will flourish economically, will have less of problems, and deviant attitude will reduce. Justice also enables a country to have a good image in the international frontier and to attract investors who believe that because of justice, they can actually have a good atmosphere. Since the bar exam, nine years after the bar exam was finally launched with petitions, despite the fact that constitutionally it should be launched every year. However, we are thankful that these exams, after nine years, has been launched and so far, those who are the aspiring to be lended colleagues will now have the opportunity to table in their candidature, write exams, and now be called to bar. In all of these, Cameroonians have been praying and praying that this goodwill launched by the government after nine years, following with petitions upon petitions, should not just end this year, but should continue because a lot of persons have been waiting and not all may be selected and so others should be given the opportunity to sit in for the exam. When you move into different countries, we are asking the question, what is so unique in not having a law school? What is so difficult in not having a law school in our country that will enable those aspiring to become, to become learned colleagues to easily have the will and the might to go to law school after obtaining their bachelor's in art or bachelor's of honor, whatever it is in the domain of law before enrolling in law school. Nigeria has a law school, and that's why it will not take Nigeria nine years for those aspiring to become lawyers to be called into law. Rwanda, though, Rwanda has an issue with Cameroonians facing difficulties in that level of getting into the law school and getting their degrees are uh, being accepted for them to enroll and be called to bar. Rwanda has a law school. The Gambia. The Gambia whose population is less than that of Douala. And in fact, Douala is more populated. The GDP of Douala is 10 times that of the Gambia. The Gambia has a law school. And that's why many of our friends, brothers and sisters, who aspire to become learned colleagues, we have to move to the Gambia with just about 2 million or 2.5 million population to be enrolled so that they can be called to bar. And all of this, it takes a lot of expenditure for these persons to move to these countries. And that's what we call capital flight and also brain drain because at the end of the day, not all may come back in your country to save your people. And that's why you look into our legal system today. We have a lot of cases, in fact, many cases fewer, very fewer lawyers of competent power to so handle that. And that's why we're asking the question, what does it take for us to even have a, uh, a law school? What does it take? However, with those that may not be able to succeed in this exam, what career path can they take? What impact will these, those who are writing the exam, who will be called to bar, what impact will it be on our judicial system? How are they going to enable the common man to have justice because justice delayed is justice denied. It is known in law that the truth speaks for itself and that he who goes to equity must go with clean hands. How clean are their hands going to be when they finally are called to bar? Are they going to do what is right or are they just going to follow the cue as of any man the duam? So not be me go change Cameroon. Change begin with an individual. We all are responsible collectively for what is going on in our nation. It is not a problem of President Bia. It is not a problem of Prime Minister John Gute. It is not a problem of Minister Tanganji. It is not a problem of Governor of the Southwest region alone, who is Benal Kalabilai. Neither is it a problem of Governor Lele Afrik and why not Diodone Ibaha Diwoa. It's a problem of all of us. We all are responsible. In success, we all celebrate. In failure, we identify and throw stones to those whom we think are responsible. If we, at our end, hold our end well, do that which is just, not become I-7 because we only respect the law, because we fear that we shall be arrested. And some vehemently break the law because they will ask you the question, Tu connais qui je suis? Do you know 
who I am. And so, therefore, when you start with such a nonchalant attitude, you want to blame the person at the higher authority, not knowing that it's a triple helix. It begins from bottom to top. If the bottom take their responsibility seriously, they will, for sure, have a good justice system, a justice system that is fair, balanced, and equal. However, when we decide to shift the responsibility to, without assuming our own, then we are only digging our grave because a leadership of the country is but a reflection of the followers. In fact, the followers determine how they want to be led, how they want to be led by the leaders. And so we, at the end of the day, must be able to stand our grounds and make sure that we, we uphold what is right, we respect the constitution and do our own. It is common to see in the streets of today, people throwing their garbage, even with the availability of a trash can, is that come trash beside, they will throw it on the floor. And when you want to ask, they will ask you, now you be government. It is common today to see people building their own houses, like in Bonamusa, the blocking pedestrian shack, where you are moving to Bonamusa, the, the pedestrians don't even have a place to walk. They are now walking on the road. And you see, when those who are constructing, when you want to ask them, they will ask you, are you the government? And so we also do it in our own end, in our own little corner. We all are guilty. We all, no exception. And it begins, for, it begins by you fixing. If I fix, you fix, the other man will see and quickly fix. But how ready are we to fix this is House of Commons? We meet Tamai Javis. Happy Sunday to all those of you who are just uh, joining us. This is House of Commons with me, Ta Mike Javis. And before we kickstart today's edition of our program, I want to wish you uh, Madam Nyam Robert, who just put to bed in the United States of America, a uh, happy, happy uh, day for you, a congratulations for you, and Mr. Nyam Robert, a congratulations for you, for your, uh, for at least adding a soul to the world and going and respecting the principle of God which says go and multiply. Uh, you have actually multiplied and we pray that may that daughter of yours continue to do the will of God in which she has been called to do as you also do the will of God. So Mr. Nyam, Robert and wife, congratulations to you and also a special happy uh, Sunday and happy birthday to you. Um, Princess Hannah who celebrated her 50th birthday yesterday in Denver, Bonamusadi. Princess Hannah, uh, Tando, Tabetano, Princess Hannah Tabetano, happy birthday to you, ma'am, and continue to do the good work that you've been doing. Your philanthropic work speaks for itself. You've helped a lot of, of children and a lot of people, regardless of their age, gender, tribe, and, of course, race. We want to say thank you for continuing to be the mother to many, and also that may God continue to replenish your source of wealth, guide and protect you. Princess Hannah, as you continue to do that which you've been called to do with the sense of humility that you have always had and you continue to have to those around you and you've always been an impact to many. So I want to say again, happy, happy birthday to you and once again, happy birthday. To kickstart today's edition of our program, I choose to you my guest with whom we are going to have a discussion. In the studio is a senior barrister, Achu Julius. He is someone we, who believe that if you think that things are not done the right way, you have the power of pen and paper, petition, that those who are concerned, get them to justice, and justice will be served, rather than sitting on your own end and be complaining, and that we must respect what has been laid down, and if we don't want it, we should peacefully, democratically, go to the ballot box and make our voices heard without following the devianic attitude and without disrupting social order and peace. And Senior Barrister Achu uh, 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 Julius is also a member of the Commons People's Democratic uh, Movement. And so he's here this Sunday to look at the topic. We are looking at nine years after by exam, uh, has been called nine years after. What impact will he have on justice system? Again, happy Sunday to you, Senior Barrister Achu. Uh, happy Sunday. Jarvis, and thank you for inviting me once more to the House of Common, which is actually not a common house, <laughs> uh, but the house of a man of timber and caliber, 
and I love the level of the debate in this house. Thank you, thank you once more. Thank you very much, Senior Bystar. Also, we are joined by Bystar Lewis, who is one of the lawyers that petitioned the Minister of Justice. And uh, you know that uh, probably, I don't know whether you follow what Senior Bystar always been saying, because Senior Bystar always been saying that if you don't like it, petition it. That you have the power and pen. Don't just speak, 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 petition. And so, therefore, we have one of these, one of those that petition the Minister of Justice and calling for the fact that the by exam needs to be launched. And his petition, we saw how it was read on different platforms and how he took it to court. And before, not long, we had the by exam launch. Also, Baisa Tanfu also did the same. But Baisa Lewis is here with us. Baisa, happy Sunday. Thank you very much, Mr. Jarvis, for having me. And thank uh, House of Commons for having me. It's actually a great honor to be here. Exceptionally, let me first of all greet the uh, senior barrister, Archie Julius. You know, in the profession, seniority is sacrosanct. So, great in senior counsel. Thank you. So, we are here for a very important uh, discussion concerning uh, justice. And you know, the key actors in the temple of justice, one of them is the lawyers. And this profession is a profession that has been hindered in Cameroon. But, well, delay, well, you can only delay and it's good to come at the end. So finally, they, they wrote the exams yesterday. At least that's something. It so is better late than never. In yes. the words of President Paul Boya in 2014, when he went celebrating the 50th anniversary of Cameroon's reunification, and he said, it is better late than yeah, never. never. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, let us have this discussion roll. I begin with you. You launched a petition calling for the fact that nine years we have not had the buy exam. What motivated that petition? Yeah, you see... As lawyers, what governs us is the law, and the law and the justice is our roadmap, it's our constant blueprint, because lawyers must always make sure that the law, the law is applied in any situation. So now, after I took oath as a lawyer, because even to take oath, it was not easy, I had to go through ups and downs. But the law is very clear, the 1919 law that regulates the aptitude test states clearly that every year in the month of December, the bar exam shall be organized. But in Cameroon, for more than almost a decade today, that exam has never been organized. Is that really fair? Every year, students graduate from our various universities, but they don't have hope. They don't have where to look up to. Whereas the text is very clear, you have a minister of justice, minister of justice who is supposed to be the forerunner of the application of law, gives a blind eye to that 1919 law. Is that really proper? And to my greatest disappointment was to even the Bar Association that's supposed to fight for the cause of lawyers. The Bar Association will give a blind eye to, to that regulation. So when I looked at that provision, I said, man, wow, if as a lawyer, you cannot solve a problem amicably or through dialogue whatsoever, you resort to the court. Of course, so I fight a motion for mandamus for the High Court to issue an order of mandamus for the president to organize the bar exam without delay because he had not organized the bar exam, I think, for more than eight years that time. So I went to court, applied for that motion, even though the outcome turned out the way it was. But I think going to court also is not only to get judgment, but it's also to create awareness. And I believe the awareness was really created. And to God be the glory. Now, one year after, the minister organized the bar exam, and yesterday they wrote the bar exam. So to me, I think it's glory, glory, glory. To God be the glory. Yeah, I'll be coming back to the exam because yesterday I had it was kind of very difficult because I can I had candidates who, who were in the hall for at 11 p.m. It's, it's, paper two has not been given. We'll come to that. 11 p.m. It was horrible. It was it was a kind of cacophony uh, where we we watch people sleeping in the hall waiting at 11 p.m. When we they go home anyway. I'll be coming back to yeah, that. Yeah. Senior barrister. Ten years after it has been launched, you are one of those when you were. Uh, as an executive in the bar, you had pushed for a law school, but at the end of the day, something happened we cannot explain. Uh, Javis, I'm happy to know that uh, this is this are the, one of my colleagues that uh, filed a petition. It is a good move. But uh, again, I should have uh, urged him first to consult certain senior councils to find out what the problem is. You know, the bar is was created by the law, the 1990 law. So the state has lots of responsibilities to make sure that that creation, that creation is well organized, well set up, and has its place in society. What happened in 1990 when those laws were made 
we had uh, the president of Bar that was a politician, Barrister Ben Muna. For your information, he was exceptionally given a third mandate out of without respecting the law because of who he was at that time. So what I noticed is that they transformed the bar into a political party, whereby they think lawyers should only be against government's uh, position, government decision. Meanwhile, lawyers to me, lawyers are supposed to be par excellence. The first person is to be considered by the government on any legal issue. That is our position in the country. We are supposed to be the persons that when no the president or the parliament has a problem, they consult the bar and they pay for it. Because that is what we are supposed to be. That's what we are supposed to be in the society. So that we'll, the type of uh, counseling within the government will be something which will be acceptable and accept, accept and um, simple to, uh, to, uh, to execute or to apply to the population. So it was transformed into the political party. And what happened? There was a clash. Oh, you want to fight us? Okay. <laughs> So that animosity, that antagonism got into the system in such a way that if you notice, most parastatals or most government offices have, are instead employing magistrates, judges or magistrates to play the role of the legal counsel. Your lawyers are there not doing anything. There's so many lawyers because not doing anything. Because of the politicization. Just because of politicization. So it means that as if there was a clash between the private, se the private bar, the bar and the public sector. The public sector. So because of that clash, we couldn't get what we could get because it was not easy or, or very difficult to penetrate the system to make sure that we are there when they do write out those laws and send to parliament to discuss for them to come out to come out uh, by so they, by to come out for for it to be applied for us to use it to apply on the population to make sure the population is at board at ease with it. So if lawyers were there at inception where the laws are being drafted, they are there where they are being discussed. And that they were being applied, I'm sure we have a better society. That's why when I realized that when we realized that that was the case, when um, by uh, uh, Mr. Chungang, senior by Mr. Chungang, was became the bar president, we realized that that was a problem. There was a clash between the bar and the public sector. So what do we do? We suggested that we open a law school. Um, there was a law school attached to the university in Swa. And a law school, a law school attached to the University of Boya. We did all the work. I remember Leonard, uh, very senior by Mr. Senze, was part of those, the team, heading the team to put on the put up the curricula and the method, the methodology, how those schools are supposed to be operated. Upon. I remember there was a dean then of the law, factor of law in Boya, uh, uh, Doctor. Uh, the name is not coming. I remember they worked on that project. And the, the then chancellor, or vice chancellor, it was well done, well drafted. And we were waiting, and we were sent to the ministries of higher education and justice for review. Unfortunately, we had just two years, two term of, just one term of office. Term. And when we left, the person who took over, I don't want to cite his name, cancelled. How was which year? Which year we left? Then, don't worry. Let's not go into that detail. <laughs> so when we left, the person who took over the battle, the battle and cancel the procedure completely, banished it, and say, I cannot see how we can create law school in Cameroon under such circumstances. That was he was the battle and he was his team, he did that, and nobody could say anything about it. So, all he did that's why we don't have a law school, neither do we know how to control the issues of the bar. Coming back to the law, that law in 1990 was drafted, and the, and, uh, the charge of the was given to the Minister of Justice. They was they see in 1990 there's been no follow-up for there be to for there to be a budget allocated for that purpose. How can we say right in the law that the bar exam should be organized by I think the 19th of November, if, I, if my memory is good enough, every year? In but there's no budget. There's no state budget for that purpose. How do you run the bar exam? And that has been the problem. What you don't understand is that the bar, this present bar exam, the bar is sponsoring at least about 50% of it. From our bad deals and from contributions from those who are going to uh, about writing. So you can imagine it's been that complicated. It does those are difficulties which we were, were I have uh, personally I'm, I've been seeing in the whole of this thing. And we made suggestions. You should know that this legal profession is a, an elitist profession. So it meant it's meant for those who 
can be above certain things in society. So they call them learned. Yes. And remember, I believe they are above certain things in society. They are not common. I'm sorry, this house of common, but I know <laughs> there are those who will be commoners. Let me put it that way. <laughs> so means those who come in into the bar are supposed to be guys who can keep up or can maintain a proper reputation because that's the only thing a lawyer sells their good reputation. But what has happened? At one point in time, it was used to, con to help control this issue of uh, uh, unemployment or unemployment. That's why there was this flood. And at one point in time, the criteria that was used to bring in members, uh, the, uh, people into the bar has been a little bit mixed up because the state is involved. So you cannot call it a private bar. Eh? At the same time, the state is much more involved. Before 1990, bar exams were organized by the bar. You come, you will listen to, you write an aptitude test. The, the, the members of the bar council, they look at it, they control it to see if you are, uh, you are fit to be a lawyer. They prepare a dossier and send to the ministry to be sworn in as a people advocate, the unit and authority. And to be sworn in as a full advocate, you needed a presidential decree. That's how it was before 1990. Until this wind of change came in, Democracy. and the government decided to ram into the issues of the bar because of the bar was becoming much more political. political. And you see, that's where the problem, that's why we have this problem. Okay, today we are saying that after nine years, we have close to 6,000 candidates. Can you, if you divide the nine years by 6,000, you realize that the bar was supposed to organize exams every year with about five, 500 to 600 persons. It should not have been a scandal. It should not have been a problem. It should be, have been normal because it, to select from 500 to 600 is easier than to select from 5,000. From 5,000? It's, not, it's not going to be easy. It's Very not going to be easy. And if you flood the bar with lawyers who don't have nothing to do, you are creating a problem for the country. Because imagine, if they, imagine you, take, you take raging bulls and put them on the street. I don't say they show that where grass is. Just imagine what can happen. That's what's going to happen if they flood the bar with, with candidates and they don't make sure they have something to do. That's why at one point in time we suggested that, look, stop using judges and magistrates that are very few in their numbers. Lawyers are ready to be hired to work in, pub in, in public, public, yes. public sector, in public offices yes. as legal counsel, counsel. in parastatals as legal counsel. Why not use that? Why not open that? Give that opening. Today they use judges at times students that come from faculties. They can't defend but they can't defend those structures better than lawyers, especially those who have some experiences, or experience at least five years of experience, will do better. But you see, we have a country whereby we, ha we have misplaced priorities. And I just feel that uh, if you don't know how to push forward your priority in the country, you get lost. And there are many people are getting lost because you don't know how to push it forward. And from my experience, for close to 35 years that I've, hang I've been hanging around this thing, I realized that Cameroon has a system. Until you know that system, you always be bitter and unhappy. So you have to take your time and patience and understand how it flows. And if you understand if how it flows, you will not feel that pinch. Okay. And those, I'm telling the candidates that are coming here, those who are going to be lawyers, <laughs> well, I wish you luck. <laughs> I, I pray that you pass your exam. We are hoping for the best. But be careful. It's a liberal profession whereby your reputation is the only thing you sell and nothing else. Yeah, you wanted to say something. Yeah, you see, yes, I've acknowledged what the senior barrister has said, you see. Despite everything around the area of launching the bar exam, the law is very clear. They should organize the exams every year in the month of uh, December. December. Why haven't they been organizing that exam every year in the month of December? That's the question that begs for answer. He Why? Just, he just explained. Yes, there is the issue between the bar and the government. And but he said budget. Texted, That's they're clear in 1990, but since 1990, they are not in any No, look at section two of that same 1990 law. It says clearly that the minister of justice shall include in the budget for each year the budget of his ministry. Part of the budget should constitute the budget to organize that bar exam. Section two is very clear. So we see here that we find ourselves in a situation where the minister of justice is not applying the law in any country. The number one person who is supposed to apply the law first is the Minister of Justice, even before the President of the Republic. That's how it's supposed to be. But why have they given it a blind eye? It's not supposed to be that way. It's not supposed to be that way. That issue of budget is not the issue. Then Senior Council said that uh, the bar is the one organizing the exam. No, it's uh, sponsoring the exam. 
That yes, today. Sponsoring. No. Today. Yes, today. It's true. Candidates paid for. He also said with the the contribution with of the candidates. With the contribution of candidates. Tell you. No, no, no. It's from our, it's said, our bad news. Yeah, he said the bad let's, news let's, and the candidates. Let's let's, let's get something clearly, right? More than five thousand candidates have registered to ride that bar. They have paid so far at least fifty fifty thousand. They have paid fifty fifty thousand times fifty thousand francs times more than five thousand. That will give you hundred of million. Wait, what does it take to organize the bar exam? What does it take to organize the bar exam? So to pay the, the, the delegates, the bar president, the officials from the Ministry of Justice, magistrates, law professors to come and see print out papers, it will cost more than a hundred million. What kind of budgeting is that? <laughs> At the end of the day, they say the bar is the one sponsoring uh, the, the exam financially. No, I cannot support that. You understand? Now, before you land, yes. you have made it clear that um, Section 2 of 1990 law yes. gives the minister the, the authority to draw the budget. Yes. The senior barrister was of the opinion that there has not been that follow-up because if the minister doesn't draw the budget, where is the, what is the role of that, the bar? Because it's like a collaborative role. If yes. they meet the bar now meet president, they say bar president. But over the years, what has the bar president been doing when this is not done? That's the question, which I can clearly state here. That that's why I said when I, we started this interview that the bar is weak. It's a weak bar, weak bar president. I am a lawyer. Lawyers should talk, hit the nail on the head. You understand? Because if I ask even the uh, postulants, collaborators in law firms who have been practicing in all uh, frustration for all the years, ask them one question. What has your bar, what has the Cameroon Bar Association done concretely that everybody has used his eyes to see that they want the exam to be organized? You are a journalist. You follow newspapers every day. Can you please tell us one thing that the bar has done? Like I told you, lawyers don't just talk. Lawyers are not journalists. Lawyers are not lecturers. Lawyers are not preachers. If there is a problem, you ask yourself as a lawyer, what are you supposed to do? If you can take your phone call, you talk, you solve the problem, you do it. If you can hold amicable settlement, you do it. But if not, what do you do? You resort to the court. I've not been practicing for more than two years. I will say that clearly. But I took the Minister of Justice to court. Not for my interest. Not for my interest. I'm already a lawyer. Because when I look around, I see collaborators practicing in law firms. You see their frustration. I could have been part of them. My father had the money to send me to law school. What about the collaborators? Even to pay this, the, 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 the fee to write this bar exam, people are complaining. I have a candidate I'm, that I'm sponsoring myself financially. You understand? We know where the problem that they have. But the bar association that is supposed to be the forerunner to protect the profession. Protect the profession. Don't just protect senior lawyers. Because we have the impression in this country that senior lawyers, they think only for themselves. It is not because of politics that I've got in. Keep politics. Because, because like senior, uh, you will learn, like senior boys have said that in their mandate, when they were, they proposed a law, two law schools uh, to be created. He said they had, had a roadmap. One should be in Yaoundé, Swa, and the other should be in University of Boya, and that this document was prepared by the, the then he was active. I think uh, a member of the, the not just uh, an executive of the bar. Very senior by his ascension. Yes, was. that they have prepared this document. <laughs> so, okay, imagine. That no, this should see, be done. You see, I understand. You <laughs> say no. I understand the youthful exuberance. I understand is the the the, 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 the the what they fire in him to come out. But let me tell you something you don't understand. Your case will be thrown out because who is your client? You understand a lawyer doesn't tout. What we call tout, it means that you go and take a case because you think that there's an interest somewhere and you go to court. That you see, when they reduce our powers in the court, we have to be very careful about it. Lawyers don't do what we call touting. You file a case, it's good, it's good enough, it's some publicity or some advertisement for you. But legally speaking, frankly speaking, uh, that's why I say maybe you will forget to do one thing consult some senior, some I don't think I don't, don't consult all of them, consult some to understand the history of this bar. I've, let me a few examples. It's simply, I always tell everybody in court, you go and call a magistrate or a judge, my lord. You see, a lord, it is we call you use that adage because of the reverence, the respect you have for that profession, or what you expect from him. You are planning to ask you something from him. I want to uh, have you ever written to the president or the minister of justice one day to ask that we should elaborate the budget for bar exams. 
First and foremost, we lawyers don't mind if we are talking like this. We have our own problems. It's been difficult to have a general assembly, even just to vote a budget to run the bar. <laughs> you convene, you pre convene a general assembly, lawyers don't attend. But if the same person go blind and say, oh, you are not working. Oh, you are chopping money. Oh, you are doing that. That's how we are. We've been like that since 1990 because the uh, came in. policy came in. We now had there was this fight, infighting amongst lawyers, infighting against the public sector. That unity that used to exist has disappeared. In those days, can you imagine we were mainly 300 lawyers? But today we are 4,000. So you can imagine the clash of ideas. 6,000 waiting to come in. So you can imagine the clash of ideas coming in. Okay. So if this thing is not well regulated, the clash will be terrible. It will really be terrible. Yes, barrister. Exactly. Yeah, you see, I think, uh, yeah, I should first of all tell the uh, senior barrister, Julius Archie. When I, I fight my action, you cannot tell me that a lawyer should not be seen to be touted. You see, that's a very bad word to no, use. No, 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 Nigerian lawyers do that. I'm telling you. No, no, but to me, we are sitting here in this no, panel. No, no. You don't say, use that word touting. I'll use touting. Because to me. I'll say who's but, a client. But to me, we have a client. No, no, let me, you see, he says when, interest. Wait, no, let me tell Come you. Let, you see that he's a senior yeah. lawyer. You see, you see that's the mentality <laughs> of senior lawyers. Yes, I'm trying to advance the cause no, of no. the profession. I'm trying to correct Instead you. Instead to press it. No, no, no. I'm you trying to correct you. Nancy. You understand? No, no, no. no, 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 no I'm not allowed. I'm talking to members of the court. Anybody say any type of thing? Okay. No, no. A lawyer needs to have a client to go to court. Okay. You just come and don't just sit and become a public interest lawyer and go to court. Lawyers trained in Nigeria have that habit. It is not like that here. Okay. How I'm saying, uh, it's I not beg, like that yet. I beg to differ with you. Oh, come on. Cancel. How can you say I don't have a client? I'm a member. No, no, no. Certified no, no, member of the Cameroon Bar. No, you, you can't represent the bar. No, let me talk. It's only the battle. You represent the bar. You can't. Yeah, you yeah, just yeah, can't. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, let's get something. No, no, no. You can't. You can't. Yeah, you can't represent the bar. Let's get something. You can't represent me. Yes, no, okay. I do not have yet to be arguing yeah. with someone. No, 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 if I, I talk, you keep quiet. No, but if I'm talking, okay. if you're arguing, okay. then okay. you're okay. arguing, okay. then you're arguing, 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 I want us to look at this from a different perspective. It's because perspective. we're actually probably bar. You know, he's saying around. that you are, you are elaborating the issue about oh. the budget. You said the bar has been weak. And that's why you came in to see how this can be done. And you are not just alone because Tanfu, Barista Tanfu, had also filed a similar Yeah, which I, 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 I complement yeah, that, yeah, that action. A similar Barista motion. Tanfu is yeah, the yeah, yeah. So now, <coughs> what is now the problem that you see? Done for nine years. Let me let me say something before I go to work. You see, senior barrister is saying that I was supposed to consult senior lawyers. For what? You understand? When I let's look at this. I'm a member of the Cameroon Bar Association. Whatever affects the bar affects me personally. You you agree with me? Members of the public will agree with me. So if I see that the profession, the future, you know, admitting lawyers into the profession is safeguarding the future of the bar. So when I see that the future of the bar has been held hostage by the stakeholders, what should I do? I should sit and fold my arms because I'm supposed to consult senior lawyers. Senior lawyers who don't give a damn about the whole situation. It cannot be like that. Senior lawyers are not about paying my bills. My father sponsored me. I went to law school. And let me say something very important here. The young lawyers in this country are taking over. The senior lawyers have had their time. They are having their time. But their time... The dice will change. Young lawyers are taking it. Okay, now coming to your, to your question, what is really the problem, right? First, I think uh, we, are, we find ourselves in this situation because uh, we don't have a law school, because it's good to address things accordingly. If we had a law school, all these uh, issues left and right, we will not. We so, we take responsibility now there was no, there is no law school. No, because that one. He noted that in their area, in the bar, they prepared documents. No, 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 but yeah, okay, good. Let me talk about what they did. They constituted committees, did whatsoever. Those are the committees. I was a next but so near that, that was, mm -mm. and did not follow up. Whatever they did was not the law at the time and has never been the law. But now, well, what you look, mean, look at what it this way. That was not the law they came together. 
in commissions. Working as bar? Yes, working at the bar, writing to the minister, advocating for the creation of law school, but they ignored section one, which says that the minister of justice should organize the bar exam every year. No, that's why the creation no, of law school. But at the at time, least, it's been a long time. It's, it's been a long time, but they also should follow that direction. We should see what they have done that the exam should be organized. But now, because talking about the issue of the law school is very important, because if we had a law school, all this issue of bar exam, ministers' interference, well, politics, that, what issue, were fighting for? that was great. I'm not saying it was not great. What they were doing, perfect. It was great. But that's a political issue. Only the government can... can because it shows that it was a bar alone that killed the law school idea. He said that. <laughs> he said that. But the, 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 the bar does not have the power. To create that law school. That's why they mobilized. The and they were, they were lobbying. They were working yes. in collaboration. But, but the bar president later on came and said, you, "We cannot work with the government to create the law school." Continue. I cannot. Yeah, what they said is true. But the bar president, he did not have the, the power to create the law school. It's the minister of justice and the government. That one, he can agree with me. That's very okay. So if we had a law school, we wouldn't have been having all these issues. Then now, two, we have a minister of justice who thinks that the president of the bar has to be begging him every time for him to organize the bar exam you cannot imagine for more than close to a decade they have not organized bar exam in this in this country every year in every profession you have newcomers magistrates yeah they, they organize their exams every year police penitentiary administration in fact in all sectors of life every year even court registrars but now when it comes to lawyers they give a blind eye to it and don't forget there are two main actors in the temple of justice you have the lawyers and magistrates it's very important right now we don't have more than five thousand lawyers in the country i hope i'm correct in your council we don't have more than five thousand lawyers look at our population do you think we have enough lawyers in cameroon we don't we don't and even if we have it's a private employment job it's not a government that is paying you you look for your food yourself you fit yourself so if somebody wants to access a profession give that person the chance that's what is important. So the minister has given a blind eye. Then the bar also. Yes, I cannot completely say that the bar has not been doing anything normally, but what they have been doing has not been really concrete. To me, I will say it clearly. It has not been really concrete. You can imagine, finally, the bar exam was organized yesterday just to respect time for candidates to write the bar exam on time. They cannot. Yeah, because I have never come to that. Um, there was, and because the general knowledge was not actually typed, it was written on the board. For an exam that candidates are paying 50,000, the general knowledge of exam, I even have the pictures, I will not want to put it on the screen. It was written it was with a chalk on the board. Then at 11 p.m., candidates were still waiting for paper two. You cannot imagine. Now, what of their safety upon going back home? You cannot imagine. Also, what of the credibility of writing that exam that late? And also the mental capacity of a candidate who have waited the whole day. That's why they say uh, impossible Nepal Cameroon. They'll be writing exam after midnight in Cameroon, only in Cameroon. Only in Cameroon. Then you tell me that we have a serious bar. I cannot, I cannot the bar association as an organ. When you look at it as a young lawyer, you don't see hope. You don't see hope. But you just said you just said that. But you just said that uh, you cannot just totally of say course. that the bar has not Everything worked. has advantages. No, wait, Everything has advantages and disadvantages. Of course. Even the person you hate the most at least will have a good side. But we have to look at it accordingly, rationally. Even though I'm condemning them, but at least they have some areas that I can praise. Now of course. Uh, you made mention of the fact that I want I want you to, to look at it that uh, the bar in itself is weak. Who who weaked the bar? Who made it weak? Is it not because of the fact that lawyers now want to be, become more of politicians than staying true to the cause? Because senior barrister made it clear that he has been advocating for the fact that public sectors should not take magistrates as uh, their legal counsel. They should take lawyers as what, their legal counsel. What, what you have said like that is something very crucial. And, uh, crucial, and I appreciate the senior barrister, Archie Julius, for mentioning that because go look at the state structure right from the presidency right down to divisional offices and councils look at the legal department of the presidency will you see a lawyer there you will not see a lawyer go to the legal department of the prime minister you hardly see a lawyer ministries national assembly it's a big problem and you see there's one issue that i think maybe people are not really seeing 
because all these things too are going on because the president of the bar association is not a member of the higher judicial council the president of the bar is supposed to be a member of the higher judicial council how can you have higher judicial council the number one man of all lawyers when it concerns law lawyers stand first keep aside all those magistrates keep aside the law professors when it concerns law internationally you see lawyers but yet the higher judicial council is there but you don't find the bar president and also that's one of the problems why you see the bar exam cannot be organized every year because had it been the president of the bar was sitting at the higher judicial council every time with the president it would be easier for him to have access to the president why is it every time man? that's the topic for next week because how for long now the higher judicial council has not been caught there eh? because it means that we also <laughs> if you say you if he was a member of the higher judicial council it means that the bar president would have been called up every year but now it has not also been called up for a very long time which means that that long time too that we still wait at this level be it a higher judicial council or not we still have to wait guys <laughs> i wanted to react to some of the issues you raised yeah, uh, no, I see. I see the fire in him, and um, I understand. They just coming in, and uh, we've been there. We went through that. Every lawyer goes through that. And uh, at one point in time, you come to realize that what you see like that is very different from what you're going to face if you are there. At one point in time, I'm sure you joined the bar council to see how difficult to run this bar as a president of the bar. You see how the challenges you're going to face, you might be very, very shocked. And so that is your own friends are the ones writing against you and fighting you. And the bar, as you see it like that, can you imagine? Even they were organizing exams, there were some lawyers who didn't want it to be organized. Do you know that? Yes, that's true. That's true. Very true. Purpose okay. of the bar. Very correct. <laughs> okay. That has been organized. There are some, as of date, who want that those things should be done as you were writing an exam to end to end. Yes. And why there was a continue yesterday was to preserve. The authenticity of the exam so that no question should leak if you don't know but so what happened no, no i've been Wait. there i've organized exams before we had to take scripts put them in board boxes and put them in those covers and seal them at the bank for to protect the authenticity to protect the fact that nothing should be leaked and that's why it was done you say it was written on the board. No, I have, I have copies of the those. General knowledge. I have it. No, 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 no. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, no, no, no. What is on the board? It was yeah, types. It was yeah. the last scripts. Yeah. So maybe uh, the person who saw you, who, who to inform you, gave you wrong information. Not like, but I, but they, they didn't want that they should stay to the next day. Hmm? So there shouldn't be any leak of exams. You should understand that to organize the exams, there are three magistrates, three, uh, three magistrates, three uh, members of a of uh, the Minister of Justice, yes. then three lawyers with the Batunian as president. So you understand the bar has just four members there, a minority. And so you understand we, we don't trust the public sector that much to be capable of leaving everything in their hands. So they have to do everything so that the exams were really yesterday. We lawyers are used to going to court and coming back in the morning. I've done a case from nine in the morning to nine the next day. You want to be a lawyer and you write an exam at three and we complain, then you have a problem. But senior bar you at times they get you yes, up at three a.m. to go to Garwa. Yes, before you continue, they will leave Boya and go to Garwa at three a.m. Is it? Do you? Well, that's, that? that's very true. So when you come, so when you come, come into the profession, you have to understand that those things are normal. They will happen. You have seen homes that are broken because of the fact that the wife has to be living, or going out all the time, not staying at home. <laughs> the husband couldn't take it. So when once you come into profession, be honest, understand that those are the things you're going to face. What you and me are doing. It's an exchange of ideas. Yeah, exactly. You are not my enemy, I'm not your enemy. Exactly. You have a right to your, your thoughts. I have a right to my thoughts. And that's how we are. That's how lawyers are. We always exchange ideas from different points of view, which, which is normal. So those candidates are supposed to be used to. Anybody who complains cannot be a lawyer. Okay, so which means that the delay is part of the training process. Of course. Of course. Because I've told you first, first, first and foremost, they didn't want that the, a day should lapse, they should be a day lapse, so that questions can leak, may leak. So he said, no, everything will be done there. Every, finish it up. There, there, right there. I remember during my time when I was trained, because I was trained off the bar, with uh, by Mr. Truman was the president, we bought photocopy machines that could multiply 12,000 copies in one hour. We set the exam that same day. It was done that same day. And everything was done record time. I don't know where, the, where those machines are today, but we bought two big photocopies. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, the, the, the person after us, I handled everything. I handled everything. I don't know what happened. I cannot say what happened, but we had that position. Only speak for where you were there. Eh? Okay, well, yes, yes. I can only speak what I know, and we did that because we were, we were supposed to preserve the 
authenticity of the exams. So that should, they should be said, oh, it was. But when it, gets, when it leaks, it's going to spread. And that, they would say, what our exam is that? Everybody knew, knew the questions beforehand. And that was the problem I saw. And again, it is part of the training. A lawyer should be ready, especially a young lawyer. We are, we are already old. I cannot really get up at 3 a.m. and go to Garua. But he will go. Provided this, the, everything is right. Logistics. He said, the logistics is made available. He will go to Garua today. You brief him now, he will go. But I can't go like that. That's true. This practice has a time. Everything has its time. When I was, when we had this fire, we had. I see the fire. <laughs> it's normal. <laughs> but with time, that's why you see seniority is very important and sacrosanct in our, in our profession. Because with time, from the experiences that you gather, you see so many things that you not believe that it is possible in this bar or in the practice. And you will see it. It's time. So it's time the, there's a lot of unforeseen within the bar. Of course. It's a liberal profession. When you say liberal, it means there's no beginning, there's no end. It's open. It's open field. You come. But though there are rules as to manage that openness, so you cannot go beyond it. But it's, it's open. The terrain is so vast that it's difficult to contain it in a piece of paper. What a lawyer is supposed to do is so vast. You can't contain it. It's like that notion of uh, what you call public order. Nobody has succeeded in defining what public order it can be anything. So you understand that <laughs> this operation is that that's, that's what true. surrounds it, what surrounds it is so conniving. The coalition is so conniving that uh, you cannot know where it starts and where it ends. Senior you, see, you have said something very serious that uh, what the notion of public order yes. is something that has they not been well defined. defined. That's true. It cannot be. Any it action can be, be considered as public disorder. It depends on the angle you're looking at. It. <laughs> and it depends on where you are. <laughs> where you are. Your interests and whatever. There's so much involved <laughs> when it comes to such things. There's so much involved. And that's to me, that's how the profession is too. <laughs> and uh, I don't support the idea that candidates are complaining when you're coming into something. Eh? The yeah, because the candidates ask. that called me yesterday they were actually complaining because mm. they said they have been there around 20 just tell, and the issue just tell the that they have failed the issue now senior <laughs> no, 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 I'm no, telling no, you no, no, because, no, because, no, no, no. because it's psychological no, no, no. when you come to write an exam and you start complaining you're going to lose concentration it's not but let's also, look at it it's not passed also as a fact as a lawyer as an aspiring lawyer just must have the ability to question things that are not done according to yes also when you, start when, you start, when you start questioning from out of the house, can be a very good when you start questioning from out of the house, you're going to get lost. But I question inside the house, what is it? No, no, it's different because... <laughs> no, the difference is that you can talk about it because you're inside the house. <laughs> the, difference that, what is, the difference is that eh, you question, but you don't have representative capacity. Because remember back council. Well... When you are, remember back council that the question, when you question something, is very different. From you and me, what That's why it would have been good if hmm? they were the ones who did what I did. They never did it. Did you approach them to ask them to no, do it? It was I was not supposed no, to. No, no. You no, decided no, no, no. You went on the phone like of you went on the phone on their own <laughs> and and decided to follow. Okay, it's your right, you can do that. But know that eh? <laughs> you can always leave your feathers along the line. And don't arrive at the end of the day without your feathers. That's the most important thing. So I said we'll protect your feathers because you know you can't put your hand in fire and think they will not get burned. No, it's true. It's so true. as you're putting it, watch your feathers, at least that the feathers don't get burned, they'll protect your hands. Because this profession, as you see, like that, hmm. what I've seen, I think I one day I'll write my memoirs to put it in the book. But yeah, as a senior counsel, it will be very didactic. Yes, you know, very didactic. okay. This, uh, well, please, this issue of uh, candidates, yes. you know, concerning the time, it would have been very good if the bar they respected the time in partnership with the Ministry of Justice. It would have been good that they respect the time. If they say they have to write bar exams at 8 a.m., they should respect that time, irrespective of what they should take care of their logistics. Because don't forget. They made the candidates to pay for the exam a month before. And they set deadline that if you don't pay before this time, you will not be eligible. Mm -hmm. Time no. was respected. No, 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 how no. come now when it comes to right thing, they just organize it, follow the time, but it's now, a problem. Uh, it's not possible. Now, let's, 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 please, have you not come to court one day? Let me say this. Have you not come to court one day? They rest to put your case aside that you should wait. No, see your I wait a whole day till the next day. Even no, adjourn. It happens. But even adjourn. You come back next day, they adjourn it. See your castle. That's something It happens. Yes. This something one, it's not because they put money, which is most important. The most important they have written the exams. Okay. Let's you want to put the money in front of it, right? You are going to put a cut before the before the okay. Let's look at it. What about the pregnant? So yes, pregnant because candidates. they were pregnant women. Because that, maybe that pregnancy well. complications. Maybe they did not write. Will you set another exam for them? The bar cannot. Will the bar set another exam for yeah, them? Look, you want to bar school? They can go to bar school. You see, you see yeah. the answer that is given. No, 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 no. Let's look. Just let, let me let me tell justice you. Justice must be holistic. Let me tell you something. I would prefer that those pregnant women come and consult you to sue.
<laughs> yes, because uh, yes. that is what you should expect. And if they consult me, I'll sue and about sure. another example. Right? But as I say, if you're putting your hand in fire. Don't think it will come out free. <laughs> no, unless uh, you have an insulation. Mr. Chef is not Just imagine that. Five pregnant women, they did not ride the bike exactly mm. because they had pregnant Take up their case. Take up their case. And See, you also, let's, justice must be holistic. We've been taking up some cases of the lawyers that took money to pay their bad use from candidates. I will not call names. That's, here. That's but their time is coming. <laughs> <laughs> this is some candidate you see like that. Eh? So when they bribe lawyers to get right exams, eh? so we're just saying you, the, the lawyers are going to have problems with the candidates too. Because you can't bribe and you, you can't complain that you pay the lawyer money back. <laughs> it's going to happen. We saw you've seen it. I'm, I'm happy, I'm that, I'm happy that, that that one is coming from senior counsel. No, no, we have seen it. That's what I'm saying. And senior we, counsel, we, senior that lawyers in this profession. That's why eh, we don't publish our sanctions. But so many lawyers have been sanctioned. Yes. I'm aware. We don't publish it. I'm aware. And we protect them and protect their clients. So we don't publish it. No, but I think but we do that because we see it every day. Lawyers take bribe for candidates to write exam. Some lawyers Candidates come and bribe. We do not pass. To come and write the exam. Some even come and bribe. That should be how nice you can make them pass the exam. Of course. Hey. Of course. When I look at it, I say, hey, what type of thing is this? What type of thing is this? I'm happy to hear that from your council because I've you been a member of that council. They've come and show me money. They, I want to give you. I say, what? I say you have failed. <laughs> Don't know that you have failed. <laughs> come and give me money to wow. so come and pass the bar. <clears throat> you have failed. Concerning no, I'm saying that those are complaining that called you. They have failed. Because psychologically they are tortured. They are touched. What if you show the other way around and, to show that? And that's that is the best way for your opening counsel to mess you up, make you lose your concentration, make you lose your verve, yeah, makes you get angry. If I get you correct, and get angry it was part of the selection to process. Me, to, to at least reduce to see those who can endure. Mr. Jai, let's 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 look at it this way. You see, when I say the bar too has failed in its duties, had it been the bar had a mechanism to coerce lawyers to pay their bar dues, this practice of candidates paying the bar dues of principals of sponsors wouldn't have been existed. You cannot imagine that we have senior lawyers in this country who have not paid bar dues for more than ten years. They are owing millions to the bar. Those are suspended. No, but that's what I'm saying. That senior lawyers in this country, when you look at them, they don't give you hope as a young lawyer. It's a very all bad or practice. Some. No, some. It cannot be all. I have to. <laughs> <laughs> so don't generalize. No, no, no. When I say. When I say senior lawyers in I've general. Never, I've never owed a bad I've never owed bad news. Never. In general. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I have never so. owed bad news. Never. <laughs> Which is a good practice. I pay, every, I I pay every year. I wish all lawyers so, were talking like never. you. You cannot imagine. You see candidates. Would I even have money to pay that uh, 50,000 francs, 20,000 francs, 10,000, or even transport to Yaoundé? But uh, principals, wicked principals. You have principals, you have a collaborator in your office, he has been working with you for more than two years. The bar exam is organized, you are asking money from that collaborator. Are you not wicked? Are you not wicked, senior counsel? I'm happy he So you are unprofessional, I don't have to point with you, you are wicked. You are unprofessional. No. Use the word. Yeah, okay. As guy, uh, stand directed by yes. senior counsel. Always follow guy that's don't do that. senior counsel. Mm. So, it's, it's so they, are they are unprofessional. They are unprofessional. Very unprofessional. Very unprofessional. Very unprofessional. Very unprofessional. Well, we stand to correct this kind of thing. Okay. And I'm happy here. Let me take on some messages. Happy Sunday, Mr. Javis, and to the lawyers in the studio. I wish to extend a hand of applause to the young lawyers in the studio. Continue doing your your job, my brother. I wonder when we, the young people, shall take over this country when you when your senior man is there saying you can't represent him what have what have they done after representing us for decades i equally appreciate what senior barrister Ach, Ach, achu just explained about the delay of question to preserve the authenticity of the exam kudos to you all to you all our dear lawyers if we can eradicate leakage of exam in our system then we shall grow I propose next time the question should even be set at the spot <laughs> while the candidates are already seated in the hall. Long live House of Commons. Heisen writing from Yaoundé. This <coughs> other one says, Good afternoon. Oxy, who says it's done? Okay. 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 Good afternoon, Javis and team. The debate is very interesting. I agree with both parties. I wish to recommend that long, young lawyers should respect their senior and seniors should hold the hand of the young ones and work with them. The world this time is for the young people. It is unacceptable that bar exam that is supposed supposed year yearly was not organized for ten years. I will not accept that starting exam late and ending late is part of the law. 
uh, profession. Dear Jarvis, this, um, uh, visit lawyers cannot organize themselves. It means these same lawyers, these same lawyers cannot organize themselves. It means the country has no future. That is unacceptable. Jacob writing from Bamenda, reacting on what senior advisor talk about the, the inability for lawyers to even organize themselves in in in, in our general <coughs> assembly. The government has really failed in that in that aspect. They should stop, and those concerns should apologize to the nation. Uh, to the to apologize to the nation, Minister of Justice, please. Okay, um, this other one right it says it's coming from no valentine good day mr jarvis please tell uh barrister that uh, that is intimidating the young lawyer that you should allow the young lawyer to make his point this is all right but uh, what a controversy this is the same government that uh barrister sing their praises for what control what a controversy if you think you understand come on then you are deluded I think uh, maybe you don't understand what a uh, senior barrister has actually been mm -hmm. saying. Maybe they are looking at what you are saying now. They are shocked that you can that you are saying what you are saying according to them is against the government. No, but they fail to understand that <laughs> you have been a procedural person. <laughs> that if it's not done the way you think it should be done, go to court. If it's not also done at level, go to the ballot box and cast your ballot. Sure. As long as it is this law that has been established, we follow it. But if you are not okay with it. Change it by going to court or by going to the ballot. And that has been this uh, position of senior barrister for years. He has been consistent as far as that his position is concerned. And you may not like it, but the law is not emotional. Mm -hmm. The law is text. It's not whether you like it or not. If you don't like it, the legal counsels are there. Like barrister, which is there. To sue. To sue. <laughs> so if you don't like it. Consult him. <laughs> Come on, consult him. My problem is that let him not do it on his own frolic, on his own, on own behalf. Public interest lawyers don't exist in Cameroon. Like in Nigeria. Like so, in Nigeria. So we are looking at now the, yeah. the culture. The culture. culture, yes. It is different here. Yeah. Because we are, our law, go and read the law. We are not allowed, you are supposed to have a client to defend one. If you don't have a client, don't go and say, I, this person, because I'm a lawyer, I want to defend this or that. That's the issue. That's a problem about Cameroon. It is the law. We didn't do it. We have, we lawyers have to go to parliament. We have to join political parties and go to parliament and fix some of these things. It's to run away from it. I've been saying this every day. We allow parliaments in the hands of people who don't know much about the law. And we start complaining that the law is bad. When it comes out, it's a law. We have to respect it first. If you think that's not correct, let's go to parliament. There we'll fight to change it, to make it right. If you notice in the world, the world over, the legal profession is well progressed because the presidents, prime ministers, ministers, Hello. most of them are lawyers. Yes. But look at Cameroon. We are, we are so really something having one where Minister Momo, instead of us, Governizing our strength to stay behind him to push him forward. We lawyers, they say, insulting him. You, know, you, see, you see the controversy about this profession. We are supposed to stand there, Momo. We encourage him that we are in government. Let's see how we can do this or that to protect even our own profession. No. They, 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 they insult him and they give him all, all sorts of names and things like that. No. We are supposed to be behind him. Either we are for, supposed to forget everything and stay by him to support him. Chief Tabitha Tano is a lawyer. He's in. He's a senator, vice president of the Senate. Yes. We are supposed to galvanize our efforts and meet people like that. Yes. Do we do it? Instead, we are condemning yeah, them. One thing I understand, the, 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 our battery, President Batonier has been very, very diplomatic in his approach until, because organized exams, let me not tell you, it's not a joke to convince the, the public sector that, look, this yeah, exam, I was about is not to a ask joke. This question, uh, the battery had to meet the minister, talk it out, and, 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 and accept at the modi the, the, the particular reality is how to do it for it to work senior barrister this issue of not organizing bar for 10 years is it not because it profits some senior lawyers who are of the opinion that if the if, if the window is open there will be more law more lawyers in the profession and so <coughs> there will be a problem to them is it not mm. who benefits no the people who are going to suffer are the intermediate lawyers not senior lawyers we, we've already done our time. I always feel I've done my time already. I'm exactly. clocking 60 already, so I, to me, I've done my time. I've done my time as a lawyer. And I don't need anybody to come again to boost me up because I've trained so many lawyers and some are still with me and working. But those, who are, those intermediate lawyers, they're the ones who need uh, new newcomers. These young lawyers, they're the ones who need not us. Because you can't, you can't be any, everywhere at the same time. 
you can you can imagine you can have six cases on the same day in different courts how do you do it you cannot be everywhere at the same time they are the ones who need it more than us because we've passed that stage of having that type those type of cases exactly the younger, the younger ones are the ones who have those type of cases. They're the ones who need these new guys to come in to help them out. They're the ones who need it. So we, we the senior lawyers, we've done our time. So, well, if you come to check on us, we'll be there for you. But we'll not be coming again with that fire that we have like that. No, and we don't have it again. We don't have it again. So we'll back out. We'll back out. I said, look, this is a chance. Okay, go ahead. But we can always guide you if you come to us. If you don't come to us, we can't guide you. But when, when I see cases, they fire at times. We always shake our heads. Because as you're a lawyer, you have your own right to do what you think is best for you and your client or whatever. But we look at it, we don't shake our heads. We are experienced. Say, oh, this thing, this is where you're going to, you're going to find, <laughs> you're going to hit your head on the wall here. I will look at it, I will wait and watch. When you hit your head on the wall, most lawyers learn from that. Mm -hmm. And they do it better next time. That's true. Because, you know, our own practice, since we don't have a law school, is on the field. You learn a lot on the field, a lot on the field. And you make up, you make amends as your time goes on. That's why experienced lawyers are better. So when they complain that we want to block, we the senior lawyers want to block, it's not true. It is the junior you know lawyers that are blocking. Because they will not come in and what will they do? The little job that they have will be seized from their hands. Because how do you expect? Okay, <laughs> okay, now. And, 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 and on top of that, the problem is that we don't think of how to put food on the table of the lawyer. We don't, we only see them coming in. We don't think of what are they, how are they going to survive in this profession? Mm. What would you be surprised to see a lawyer riding a bike with his rope in his hands? How you feel about that type of lawyer? Not just surprised, eh? you'll, you'll be, be shocked. Yes, you cannot you not concern him as a lawyer. You see, on a bike with his rope yes. in his hands, <laughs> sweating. This, this cliche come will on. always come in when we see such. We say it's a charge and be. Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't like that term. You know, a lawyer doesn't like to be called like that. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a cliche <laughs> when you see. That's a phenomenon the society has. If they see a lawyer taking a bike, I think running. I'm so I was thinking, so I wanted to suggest that. Look, there are so many things that we can do to put that foot on the table. I talk about the public sector hiring lawyers. Um, west of the Mongo, the Anglophone regions. Lawyers act as noobsy public. And you go to court, you hardly see land cases in court. Because the lawyer is there from the beginning right to the end. They follow up the process. But to text of Cameroon, land, land is being managed by what we call notary publics. And there are just about 60 or 100 of them. How can you imagine? Then there are about 3,000 lawyers this way. Why, why, why? That's why one land is sold to 50 different people. Because they don't come to court. Those, those notary publics don't come to court. They do their things what they want to do there. They don't even verify. They don't, most of them they don't even care. We go to their offices to beg them to work. They don't come to They don't come around. Because they just made a hundred. You have to follow them. So if the day they will transfer the same rights that we have in the Anglo regions to the Francophone areas, lawyers will have food on the table. The, what, the government has to sacrifice a hundred people for three thousand. Notaries are just about three thousand of them. The government has to sacrifice them. Match them with the profession as it's done. Why, why can it be why can it be why can it, it succeed in the West in the Afro region? Why can it not succeed here too? No, it's something good. If they do that, lawyers will go and establish themselves in Yokajuma. They will go to Yagua. Because then they know they can sell land and make money. If you don't know what you don't understand is the lawyers west of the Mongo, they make their money mostly from sale of land. Land transactions. I cannot deny that. They make most of it. You come out to Francophone Cameroon, only 100 persons benefit from that. It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. Which means the, the distance, eh? That's, tough. that's why we have to think out box to see how we can make. It's all because at one point in time, they wanted to uh, declare illegal the fact that lawyers act like no public is the worst of the Mongo. That can never happen. It, it nearly cost a. It can, it can, it can, it can, it can cost never, a war. It can never happen. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, why not do. Instead of can stopping it at the, uh, um, in like four regions, why not bring it this way? Which is something good everybody will, everybody will appreciate. And you go and notice, most of the notice publics are wives of big people. They're wives. Go and check it out. That's true. Very true. They're doing a hundred of them. Managing two thirds of the country, the land of the country, is not fair. They are highly connected. It's just not fair. And the province is so tight in such a way that you cannot get into it there. Mm -hmm. You cannot. When you are complaining about lawyers, you forget the other professions, bailiffs, <laughs> that the government pays them. The government that pays bailiffs. The government, the notaries, the notaries, the notaries, they call them, the notaries, the notaries. The government pays them. They have a monument that we don't even have. They are paid. There's a 100 or something of them. Just a 100 or something. Take they look at the bailiffs too. Two thirds of the country. Two thirds of the country. 
And just do I like how many has uh, we have more, almost five million people? Just do I like You want to do I like And there is about, about I think about twenty here. Yeah. So let's just see share imagine? the one one the, the one hundred just in the palace will not still be enough. Eh? It will not be enough. It will not still be enough. So you understand that is those are, that is why with with we are still thinking that it's high time lawyers get involved rather than fighting get into the system and be part yeah. of it. Let me pardon me, please uh, like this issue of uh, the outlook of a lawyer. Like senior counsel was saying that it's not good to see a lawyer on a bike and all those kind of things. Yes, somehow. Mm -hmm. But you see, a good lawyer is not about uh, your possession. The way I see it. A good lawyer is not about your possession, whether you're, you're riding the bike. Branding too much, it, eh? it matters, but it should be the office. You <laughs> see, a lawyer should have a presentable office. But whether you're taking a bike, Okada, taxi, you have a jeep, or whatsoever car, it's irrelevant. A good lawyer has to do with morality. A good lawyer should be honest. You have integrity, good moral principles. That's what makes a good lawyer. It's just that the way it is now, people, even clients too, they think, oh, if this lawyer does not, we don't see you with a big jeep, you are not a good lawyer. Of course, you will not blame them. It's branding. You must look like 10 million before somebody brings no, a case for 20 No, I'm million. just giving an example. I'm just giving an example. On a bike? So no, but see. If you are my chambers, <laughs> I see you on a bike. You just stop. No, no, no. Our relationship is over. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Uh, you have to think. You need a lawyer to think how to do it. No, eh? you know, life, you life is step by step two. Look at this series, Suit. To me, that's the best legal series ever. My gross was working one of the best law firms in New York. He was riding on a, on a bicycle, but very intelligent. Even the best lawyers. The will, culture also matters. No, but it's like, bicycle. Like, yes, culture, there, let's not bring down culture where, and no, 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 it does, it does. No, it does. We have seen was like, a no, there's a, there's a culture. I think it's Swiss. That, that, that guy makes the money from... His films, not from practice. No, I'm just giving. No, let me no, give I want you. to tell you the difference. He makes his films <laughs> and makes money and pretends riding a bicycle. Let me give you a that guy is a let me give you, No, let me give you an example. That guy is a we have a country where the prime minister rides a bike. I think I've forgotten this country. Everybody rides in, a bike. In, in Europe, Europe. Yes. in Finland. Finland. Yeah. So it becomes a cultural issue. What? What? You know the cultural mindset. Even in England, yeah, in England prime minister rides bikes. Matters, eh? But a lawyer. Riding a bike. Own, no, Bryce, I, I, I never. <laughs> Bryce, I never. Let me, let no, me ask you. Let me what, honestly what? ask you this. Right. It's not. It's, to let be a lawyer, a poor lawyer is not the kind. No, no, it's not poor. poor. Riding a bike is not reporting. No, but you have one. A lawyer has only one thing he's selling called reputation. And when it comes to reputation, you must be reputable. But so, so I, 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 young, as a young lawyer now, how will a young lawyer? Taxi is still you That is why. That is why you're trading. As a as a young. That is why you're trading. After the training, you need money. How do you get it? If you have a good mentor. By the time you're leaving that mentor, you don't know how to make By money. Lewis, let me I'm tell you. you. If, if a job for a taxi is 350 francs, a job for a bike sometimes 500. Mm -hmm. Now, what senior buyers are saying is it, it doesn't refuse the fact, it doesn't affect money in any way. No, you no can money. take a taxi for 350 francs and you can take a bike for 500 francs. Now, the issue is the means of transportation. Will it take you to your destination? Yes, a bicycle, but also a bike, reputation now also matters. But that's what I'm saying. That people I wish you to take a bike to go to court. People, where, where, where are you practicing? No, in Boya, in Boya. Take a bike one day in Boya, and ride into the court for some reasons. No, no, no. We you don't have, understand what I'm saying. Right, climb on a bike, ride into that court premises, and see what will happen. I will not. <laughs> no, I'll let, you see what our lawyers honestly, will do to you. Honestly, if, the reaction. If I were practicing here in Douala, I would not have any problem to take a bike and go to wherever. Uh -huh. Ride it one day and come to court. Why? Because it will take me there easily. What I'm trying to say is that we should look past possession. Oh, a great on. lawyer is the, the intellect, the integrity and all that. But wait, let's keep that aside. Let Concerning now the issue that's of... The open, that's the opinion about the lawyer. Continue. Concerning now the issue of whether, whether senior lawyers don't want new weeks. But I think to an extent, some senior lawyers, because he raised the issue here that the, even the, the exam that was organized, some senior lawyers don't want... They, they were, in fact, they are angry that the, the exam was organized. And if you look at the number, many of them are scared. Because... Let's not escape from the fact. No that senior lawyers. Junior lawyers are the ones. Senior lawyers. No, we don't they care. They think new weeks will come and take away their business. Not us. <laughs> it's those of you who are made five years, ten years. Are, you, and you need those guys you have, to help you. Have you. Made it already senior of camp. course. But now, some other senior lawyers, they look at it that way. Even principal senior lawyers. You see a new ex collaborator trying to make ends meet. You are already looking far. Is that how it's supposed to be? It's not supposed to be like that. Senior lawyers gradually also, they don't really want it. Some will not uh, air it off. Some senior lawyers put it that way. Some, some okay. of course, some. Then uh, I think. Well, sponsor three. I don't know how we don't want it. Uh, sponsor three persons. I think from government's perspective, from government's perspective, I think there is a hidden government policy not to allow many lawyers to access the profession. 
because that can only be the justification why the minister of justice would hesitate not just for one two three years but close to a decade so there is no, a no. hidden agenda no, a prospection now yeah but we have to look at the facts no protection no, no, because no. it's speculation in the you, you cannot justify that now. why why would the minister of justice ignore that law it's not something that the batonier is even supposed to whisper to even write to the minister of justice that it's time to organize. He is supposed to take upon himself. And the way the law is, is the government. The law has even made it composed that the candidate should pay 50,000 francs in the law, but the minister should put it in the budget for the next year, every year. That's what the problem is the budget. Imagine. We, we are supposed to vote the budget in the bar and send it to the ministry. We cannot. Because we don't, oh, we don't, even, we don't even have a general assembly. Can we? No, but senior Just senior 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 budget. Senior that budget, you see, like that, eh? it's supposed to come from the bar. So the law does not say that. The law does not say that. The bar should vote. Mm -hmm. The law no. When one, when once you want a budget, who prepares it for you? No, every the year. minister cannot prepare budget for the bar. So is there? Ah, what do you say? The minister has to prepare the bar, the, the budget now. No. no. Every no year, budget. all government ministries. The law says that all government ministries. When a new budget comes in, he prepares his budget, and is voted and um, adopted by the General Assembly. Assembly. It has not worked for the past ten years. I, we that's, disagree that's, with that. That's, that's not the issue. We, we disagree, disagree with that. Because, the bar exam. No, we no, because eh, yeah, it no, is that that's the, the internal the bar exam. The bar, that's that the internal practice. No, that is supposed the budget. No, that's the budget. The bar exam. No, this, you know you know why the minister of justice participates in our meeting. It takes ten minutes too of what we say and what we do, and it is only it's guidelines to organize bar exams. I'm talking about the, the budget. Organize the budget comes from us, no, not from the, him. The law does. I have the law here. Okay, the okay, law okay. does not say that the bar shall organize and draft the budget sent to the minister. The minister sent to the assembly. The law says that the minister of justice shall prepare. It shall include the budget to organize the bar exam every year. I'm not the mi yes. Every year, you see all government ministries. Something. All government ministries mm -hmm. prepare their budgets. They send to the national assembly. The minister is supposed to prepare the budget, even without okay, talking about the budget. No, no. But he's the one. Who are the ones? No, the bar is supposed to prepare the budget and send to the minister. So which provision of that law is saying that? No, council? they say he should include the budget. He should include in his, in, in his budget. In the budget of the ministry. So when you go to the law, our law says we vote our budget in the general assembly. No, the you organization and functioning of the bar is different. The is it not part? Hey, why do you think the pres the bar the president of the bar is the president of the jury or exams? Yeah, but senior counsel, he is the president of the jury. If a law says uh, that you the president of the exam like this, the law does not cite or makes reference to another law or other body. So why should? Oh, let me you ask you. Do, 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 do uh, organization uh, mean uh, financing? Uh, uh, no, no, putting financing in here. That's the point. Right, so let me ask you this question: Does the bar? contribute financially in the organization of bar exam no yes the bar does not contribute why do i say that because candidates pay if you say the bar the candidates do the candidates let me come. Let me come. it's not the bar's let money let me come it's the candidates money let me come. the money the candidates the candidates contribute who, who receive the money the fact that money no. is, well let me who, I, I, I want to get who i'm, receive, a, I'm a lawyer you yeah, who tell receive, me how to answer no who question. receive the money the wait let's, is, let me answer i'll answer your question particularly the fact that your money is in the bank doesn't mean that that money belongs to excuse me belongs to the banker who receives the money the bar receives the money and okay. the bar no, let me i'm going I'm, I'm, no, I'm going gradual i'm going gradual you're a lawyer and in court you are asked to answer questions the way they are mm -hmm. i'm not we are not in court but i'm yeah. using your own what i observe exactly as journalists we also have closed and open-ended questions exactly depending exactly. on where we are going to now the candidate has a has a register pays the money to the account of the bar from the bar where does that money go to they use it. Don't forget, the candidates, there's a quota. Yeah, they pay to the public treasury. Okay, who pays to the public mm -hmm. treasury? The candidates, they pay to the public who treasury. Who pays the money to the public the treasury? Candidate. So the candidate money mm -hmm. goes directly to the state treasury? Yes. They and wait, it goes to the state yes, treasury. Yes. So which money now goes back to the bar? No, the bar, the, the, <laughs> the candidates, they pay money to the bar. According to the bar, it's used for the conferences. If okay. I'm not there, uh, training sessions. Good, good. Yeah, training the sessions. Yes, yes, yes. Not the exam. Not the training exam. Training sessions yes. are different from. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm, no, I know. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm going somewhere. Okay. Now the, the money the candidate give it goes for training session. Yeah. The by the bar. Yeah, they pay Just twenty thousand. Yes, yes. Part Just twenty thousand, senior council. Yes. No, no, no. Let's not talk like that, senior council. Candidates coming from Ekona, candidates coming from Moyoka, Ikata, they don't even have 5,000. Don't talk like that. No, no, they don't we are on the ground. They don't join the profession. Let me tell you something. They don't join the profession. Let me correct something here. Let me say something here. I hope, 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 hope members of the public are listening to me and they should listen clearly. They, like senior counsel make mention of the fact that they're being a lawyer is an elitist profession. Great. 
But let's not forget, nobody is above the law. Who has if anybody is nobody's above the law, it means that the poor man also, the common man should be considered. You cannot have an exam. A common man, a common Cameroonian cannot access that exam because of finance. Barista, is that proper? Barista, me, that is not proper. You bar, cannot say barista, me, if you don't have the money barista, to pay, you should move another barista, barista, Lewis, let me ask you this I question. cannot support barista, that. Barista, Lewis, registration for the GC advanced level, how much is it? I've passed that time since. Maybe something, I don't know. Then he has forgotten his name. It's 20,000. No, it's 20,000. 20, Let's understand something. No, I'm going somewhere. <laughs> By the Lewis. No, <laughs> no, there is a law. I'm going to differ with your castle because he's saying that just 20,000. Yeah, I'm going back to the area. Your billings per month are exhausted. All level exams is 20,000. 20,000. But it's still difficult. It's yes, just 20, it's an exam. It's just 20,000. You have gone far. You went to law school. You paid more than 5 million francs no. to learn. But tell me what. Senior counsel uh -huh. said that if you don't have the money to pay, you should go. No, no, no. Like somebody you went to law school. Money. You went to law school. You paid more than 5 million francs a year. I'm not law school. I'm not are you I'm not understand that? Eh? They want somebody. The law. Look at my position now. Look at my position. <laughs> That's why in society there That's are people who are up. There are people who the are law. down. The Always law. consider people who are down. The law. The law. That's what I'm the trying law. to say. I'm going back. Look, okay, swing vote down the depends on the IFU. The, 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 the guy, the guy you think that I'm down and just that the guys who are up. The law. You don't the law, know. The law. Let me come to reality. How much does it take to make a passport? Yes, come on. I think now it's one or something. Okay. So if someone who is in a corner. Has a conference to attend will that person not make a passport for one the law should be bent because of his financial status you see mr javis you see my position <laughs> i'm not saying that they should not do passport i'm not saying that they should not pay fees but what i'm saying is that we should always consider the common that, man that's what i'm asking now. that's my interest okay. we should always consider you, you were the you directed me for my question i was going to ask i'll ask about the money the twenty thousand francs yes. that goes for the bar yes. for Organization of conferences and seminar, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, how does the banner draft its budget yearly? Take into consideration because that was senior by said that the ban needs to set a budget. Okay, let's because go. they you can only budget from a budget and estimate that okay, a bar exam will launch. We're talking about, this kind talking of about budget. Yes. Talking about budget. Going wait, back to what you say, that's talking, what I was talking about to. budgeting in yes. basic economics. Yes. You will budget, then the money will come after that. You don't know the amount of money that will come. An estimate. That shows <laughs> expenditure and revenue. Did they put in their budget that can't will come and be paying I mean, this amount yes, of money? It's part of, it could be part of their budget. Well, are, no, let's not forget the budget of the bar is regulated by the internal organs of the bar. It has nothing to do with the Ministry of Justice. And it has nothing I'm to do with the No. It's not part of the budget. It's not part of the budget. Candidates have paid for something. How why would they put candidates' money as part of the budget of the bar? That same law you read that the bar is supposed to be organized yearly. The law, the bar exam. Yes, yearly. Which means that in budgeting, mm -hmm. and as I'm talking because I am a human resource person, yes. in budgeting, what you do is that since the law said that we must register candidates each year, so we have we have to organize five seminars each year. From the money we have to spend on seminars. Okay, did they organize the seminar? No, I'm saying, I'm just saying, looking at what it, it normative, what ought to be. I'm going by normative theory, mm -hmm. not what is the reality. You are mm -hmm. living the reality. Mm -hmm. So, which means that if each year the text state, like a section two, <coughs> states that the buy is supposed to be organized yearly, and we believe that, okay, each year there should be about 1,000 candidates. Of this 1,000 candidates, we will have 20,000 times 1,000. So, which means that we have this budget we have drawn. The revenue is going to come from registration. It's like schools. Schools does their budgeting. Mm -hmm. They know the admission fee. Those who may come for admission fee will pay this year. They may pay twenty million. Exactly, exactly. So that they know how to allocate budget. It's coming back to what senior vice is saying that when you have this budgeting, then you can now know what you can suggest now to the minister in terms of organizing no, 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 the bar. No, no, no. no. <laughs> the bar association cannot act in illegality. So it's illegality. You understand? They cannot put the budget for the bar in their own budget. That's acting across illegality. Cite me the relevant provision of the internal organs of the law that states that the bar association in its budget shall include money for the bar, bar exam. That's part of drafting of a budget, no, eh? No, no, no. Let, that's why, let's try to get the dichotomy here. The, pe the only person who has the power to organize the bar exam in this country is the Minister of Justice. So now, the bar president, the bar council, General Assembly, you don't have that power. You are putting in your budget that you use this money to organize bar exam. Is that acting legality? Let's get that, let's separate that. That is why it behoves upon the Minister of Justice to include it in the budget of the Ministry of Justice every year. Um, the bar is an auxiliary to the Ministry of Justice. And there's nothing wrong for the bar to prepare a budget. 
and sent to the ministry. Nothing wrong. The auxiliaries of the Ministry of Justice. You know, and you see, we have the minister in doing his job too. It's not a matter of... The minister is not a lawyer. He will not know what it takes for lawyers for lawyer, to take a lawyer to tick. He, know, he will not know. That's why we have... This, this, the honor is on us. We prepare our budget and send to the ministry. Okay. That's why, you see, the day you come to understand to how to manage these things, because when I'm saying it, you don't seem to, you think, no, it's not like, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to challenge your point of view, the point of view, but I'm telling you that when it comes to budgeting, uh, everybody prepares his budget. In a minute, every minute, they the, 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 call them, uh, people in charge of studies. Shall we say the truth? I don't know how you translate it. Those are the guys who prepare his budget, they prepare budgets for each ministry, as you see, like that. And most often than not, most of those guys, most of those guys are, Either uh, financial related yes, people because they issue if they come they ask, other provisions. They are not. Yes, they are they, not lawyers. They are not lawyers. Not lawyers. Not That's why I was asking you the question of the twenty thousand. So, so you want to send a budget to the ministry from the, our legal profession? It must have been approved by our general assembly. What like is the Batonier cannot just take a budget and say this is what I want and go to the minister? It will not work that way. And when once it, 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 it's an adopted budget from our we lawyers, it is something else. Because it's a, it, the, the body has said this is what we want. Because of budget, can change it. for budgeting, you must show where the revenue is coming from, from uh, how you are going to spend it, yes. how you are going to uh, sustain it. Because it's uh, an entire estimate. Yes, and don't forget that since the law, the legal process is, is uh, created by the law, the government was supposed to make allocations for that too. Before you create something, you cannot create something and abandon it. For you to go on his own. No, it's not about saying all No, but it's okay. No, we lawyers, <laughs> we are auxiliaries of justice. That's true. But my worry here is the issue here is the bar does not have that legal back. Yes, the bar can uh, draft its own budget and send to the minister. Will it have the force of law? No. Good. May the proposal. No, no, no. May it's, suggestion. Sure. But whose own budget has the force of law? Even his own. The minister of the Even his own. It goes it to will, parliament. It, will it be is dead. No, it is dead. But it will be approved there. Do you know why? It goes to parliament because they lobby and fight for it. If you take it, they just go to parliament, they sit at your side. No, but parliamentarians, hey. if they see that you are coming under this law and this budget, this money is for the bar exam, regulated by this law, they will approve it. Do you know, you've never gone to, you've never gone to a question and answer session at the parliament to no, understand what I'm we saying. We know that our parliament, hey. we have weak parliamentarians. No, yes. you, no, 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 you have never gone there. Always, most guys, when you say that, I understand you've never gone there. Go there one day to get the experience yourself, to understand that some of these guys work. Go there one day. Just decide one day. They published the other day where one parliament examining a minister of, uh, I think, energy. You will be shocked. It's a civilian parliament examining the minister of uh, energy. You know, there are so many of them doing that. There are so many. That unless you go there, you will never know. Okay, let me take on this message. Please, yes. Please. yes. Yes. Concerning the issue of parliament, you see, uh, relating the parliament with this our bar exam, it shows that we have a very weak parliament. You see, weak Senate because... A strong parliament will look at it. They have been cries left and right. You see, Cameroonians who have gone to Rwanda, but they have been rejected there by their bar. They have come back here. What has the parliament done? The parliament was supposed to call the minister. Everybody is weak to you. Everybody is weak. That's why we have weak <laughs> parliamentarians. We are strong. Go and be one. No, the time will come. Uh -huh. The time we will come. Go and be one. We they have weak parliamentarians. They were supposed to call the minister. Then I will quote you. I will wait. That day. I remember we sat somewhere you said you're not a week. It's not about the interest of the Cameroonians. The parliament was supposed to summon the minister of justice without delay. He should answer why have you been violating this law for so many years? There was years. no lawyer there to even give, even give him an order. We'll give you, in fact, one week set, organize that exam. That's, look at the way the Senate of the United States is working. Oh, come on. Why can't he be here? Why can't hey, he be here? That is a 250 years old no, 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 let's not look You want to compare it now? Okay. See, look, 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 look. look. They always say that eh? you can never put a square peg in a round hole. But the day you put one, it's going to fit. But they will loopholes. We are struggling to do that here in Cameroon. Uh, we take because this Western democracy we are put, like, practicing is a square peg in a round hole. So there will be loopholes. But until time, it's only with time that it's going to be round. You start comparing all the United States. Wonderful. Senior Council, I beg Wonderful. you for setting things because Wonderful. you cannot say this man is high they, man. They are 200. You, 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 you don't compare with uh, no, the common man. You compare with the way. Senior Council, please. I think that is done. 
Look at it's your own comparison. It's your cast of prison. Let's look at it this way. <gasps> when you say they are 250 years old, we are just uh, how many years old? I don't know. They're 60. Yes. But the facilities that we are using here, is not the same facilities that they are it's using not over the, there. It's not the same. But you expect so when they were it's just a square like, peg in a round hole. When they were, what we are doing is a square when, peg in a round hole. When they were just like 50, 60, 70 years old, they did not have anybody to look up to to copy and paste. But we have they were killing each other. We have that opportunity to see that, okay, in America, this is how the Senate is functioning. Let's do it. You know how many people died for America to have what they have? So let's not go fast. Oh, come on. You want us to go to the slave trade? Okay, I'll let you on this message. What you say, your brothers, you want to blame America. Good afternoon, House of Commons. <laughs> good afternoon, House of Commons. For the first time, I want to appreciate Senior Barrister Ajo for being very objective, continuing to keep the dignity of the law profession. Presently in Cameroon, some teachers and even some school administrators have involved in examination malpractices in order to have good percentage. Some invigilators, I mean teachers, collect money from candidates in order for them to use phones during GC. It is such persons who will want to who will want to fraud their way to become lawyers. To my humble opinion, this, the GCE should be controlled by bar in order to stop <laughs> examination malpractice. This is coming from Agoto Charles. Yeah, they, are they are presenting the bar <laughs> to collect GC. <laughs> you know, everybody is entitled to his own opinion. He's presenting the bar to collect GC. Can you imagine? I mean, that blasting is there. Happy Sunday. I want to thank the young lawyer, Mr. Lewis, and also very, very uh, big thank you to senior Mr. Achu. Surprisingly, he's very objective today yeah. because <laughs> I see that he's saying things that many will consider controversial, but it is not actually controversial. As a lawyer, I see that whatever he has said here today is actually what is, and we should continue to encourage him. Maybe when it comes to politics, he has a different cap, but when it comes <laughs> to the legal profession, he has been up to the tax and married the name senior lawyer. As in Nigeria, they will call them the senior advocate which is known as San. So I want to convey him the title San. Um, <laughs> this is coming from Barrister. He did not put the name, just to Barrister Dash Dash Dash. You will make one of the in the neighborhood. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's a good afternoon, House of Common. My name is Kinko Bonaberry. As a citizen, I am very disappointed in the complex nature of justice in Cameroon. With the costly, with the costly process involving in gaining membership into the bar for lawyers only to bounce back to the poor masses who will need to pay more to afford lawyers. This makes justice unaffordable to the masses, meaning justice in Cameroon is only for the financially viable. No wonder the country seems this I will not want to put the last word you use. Sir. It's not good. We are almost out of time. Your closing uh, statement for these students who are writing. Okay, okay. I wish them congratulations in advance. I'm sure all of them will make it because uh, looking at the question paper, it was not that difficult. I right, think see your council here will uh, concur with that. So all of them should make it. Five thousand. I want to appeal, <laughs> and I want to insist strongly, because for the written part, if you have uh, ten over twenty, you qualify for the for the orals. Then for the orals, if you have twelve over twenty, you qualify. You will be sworn in. So I'm appealing to the to the powers that be. If all the more than 5,000 lawyers or the 5,000 candidates, they have at least 12 over 20, they should be sworn in. <laughs> yes, because I should not hear that what people say, no, the Minister of Justice, the Ministry, they want by this number, the bar, they want by this number, senior lawyers, one by this number. No. If all of them, they make it, they should be sworn in as advocates in training. Because at the end of the day, it's not the bar or the Minister of Justice who will pay them. And however, in any profession, you have the, the good ones and the rotten eggs. Even men of God, men of God that are doing horrible things outside here, we all know. So I wish all the candidates well. And what senior counsel, uh, senior counsel also said is that uh, there is no corruption. And I hope, in fact, there is no corruption. It should be based on meritocracy. If you want to be a lawyer, be a lawyer based on merit. It can never be like other government concourse. So with that being said, I have my collaborators too in Chambers, four of them who wrote the bar, who wrote the, the bar exam. I wish them all the best. In fact, all the candidates, I wish them success. So you are That's saying right. that if all the 5,000 pass, you should have 5,000? Why not? We are out for justice. <laughs> so if they have at least 12 over 20, which is the legal requirement, why should they not be sworn in? See your counsel. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Sir. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I wish them luck. I wish those candidates luck. 
And um, I'm informing those who are going to come in that uh, they are going to come to something new in their lives. They should be patient to understand and learn how it takes, what, what it takes to be a lawyer in Cameroon. And um, each and time is always an added advantage to it. They should do me the mad rush to behave like others, to be like others. But in any case, I will still appeal to the Bar Council to work in close collaboration with the Ministry of Justice for there to be reforms in our law, legal system because you can't get in 5,000 lawyers and you don't think of how to put food on the table. It means you're going to get 5,000 hungry lawyers and you know what a hungry man can do. And uh, it's better to prevent <laughs> than to allow it the, 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 the wound to get sore and trying to look for a cure. If we have to take 5,000 lawyers which is going to help the issue of unemployment or underemployment in Cameroon, we should be in a position to make sure that those coming in who have their place in society can live on their profession and feed, feed families. Anyway, good luck to you guys. We are waiting for you to, we are waiting to call you our learned colleagues. Yeah, okay. Then, uh, concerning the issue of, uh, you know, to stop all these delays in organizing the bar exam, I strongly appeal for the creation of a law school in Cameroon. Or uh, while waiting for the law school, the organization of the bar exam should be given to the bar president. That means that 1990 law should be amended. The bar president should have the exclusive power to organize the bar exam. That's why you're saying that going as a, as a parliamentarian, have the mandate no change the law. and amend the law. We are praying. <laughs> <laughs> that has been his story, eh? yeah. That's why you were saying that the prayers that you're getting are changing. I'm changing. We are praying. Mm -hmm. And so this message is getting sir. I pray God should keep on raising and maintaining people with goodwill and patriotism like my brother, the uh, junior one, though he's been intimidated by the senior barrister, which is the normal, which is normality in all domains. Bro, please keep on and uh, God help you. This is coming from um, I've been Godwill from Cape Town, that is Kumba. Uh, those of you who have actually sent us messages, we don't have much time uh, because time constraint, we cannot keep up. Thank you, Senior Barrister, for coming. Thank you, Barrister Lewis, for coming. Uh, it's been a privilege having you all here. I want to apologize to the other members who are unable to make it. Uh, some are challenges, but until we meet again, no matter the matter, what matters is your matter. And what should matter for you is that you should stay out of trouble and prepare yourself because new lawyers will be coming in. So if you don't stay out of trouble, you have to pay them for legal counsel. And only he who has money pay legal counsel. My name is Tamai Javis on Commons Commercial Capital Dwala. Bye-bye. <laughs>